When you create an index in Oracle, the index is created over the actual values in the table. There are times, though, when it is useful to create an index not over the actual values in the table, but a derived value. This is where function-based indexes come in. With a function-based index, you specify a function in your create index statement. Then, Oracle will run this function against each row of the table to create a derived value, and the index will be built over this derived value. What this allows you to do is to be able to query the table by this derived value and do so very efficiently because now you're conducting an efficient index operation rather than a full table scan. And it turns out there are some situations which make this a very useful capability. The best way to demonstrate the capability of function-based indexes is to work through an example. A common problem faced by anyone who works with an Oracle database is to be able to conduct a case-insensitive search. In Oracle, all comparisons are done in a case-sensitive manner. So this presents a problem when we want to do something like conduct a name search or any type of search on a string type field. Many times, we want to be able to store data like name data in mixed case. And in fact, this may be a requirement from our business users. This is where the problem comes in. Since comparisons in Oracle are case sensitive, the only data that we will match is data that matches exactly, including case. For this example, we are going to write a query to search for students in our students table by their last name. So regardless, if we write the SQL ourselves, or have the SQL generated out of an ORM, we're going to end up with a query that looks something like this if we want to search students by last name. Notice in this case that in the value supplied that the letter N in McNeil is in uppercase, reflecting how our user typed this value into a search box in our application. The problem is that this query is only going to match nine of the rows, not all 11, because two of the rows in the table have the N character in lowercase. So if the user was really searching for Dirk or William, they wouldn't find those names in the search results, and that would be confusing. Another situation that may occur is that the user types in the name in all lowercase, because when the user is typing the name into the search box in our user interface, they probably aren't really thinking a whole lot about what case it should be in. So in this case, no records would be returned. The problem here is the case sensitivity of the search. Because of this, the user has to know the exact casing of how the data is stored in the database. So if they don't know the exact casing, they're not going to get the results that they expect to. I think we can all agree, this is not a very usable search interface, and would probably be pretty frustrating for our users to use. The way that most developers would try to solve this problem is by rewriting the query on the last slide like this, using an upper function around both the last name column in the WHERE clause and the value supplied by our user. And now, we remove the case sensitivity from our query. This query is functionally correct. It will return all of the records for any given last name, regardless of the casing. So from that standpoint, we have success. But there is a problem with this approach. By using a function in the WHERE clause like this, Oracle will no longer be able to use any indexes that may exist on the last name column of our table, and will instead resort to a full table scan to get the data. Furthermore, when Oracle runs this query, it is going to have to compute the uppercase version of the last name for all rows in the table. And this is going to be done while the query is executing, each and every time we run this query. So in addition to performing a lot of I.O. to run this query, we're also going to be using a lot of CPU. This is where function-based indexes come in. What we can do is to create an index not over the actual values in the last name column, but use the upper function in the create index statement itself. And what this will do is first uppercase all the last names in the table, and then build the index over this uppercased value. Then, when we run our query from the previous slide, Oracle will recognize that the function used in the create index statement and the function used in the where clause match and the Oracle optimizer then will be able to use the function-based index that was built over this derived value. In this way, you're going to get all of the benefits you normally would with a query that uses an index. It's important to recognize, though, that the function used in the index and the function used in the WHERE clause must match exactly. Otherwise, the Oracle optimizer won't be able to match up the functions between the SQL statement and the index, and Oracle wouldn't be able to use the function-based index to perform this query. When choosing the function for a function-based index, 
there are some criteria that you want to be aware of. First of all, you can use both built-in Oracle functions as well as user-defined functions. In our example, we're using the upper function, but you could use the lower function, the soundx function if you wanted to conduct a phonetic search, or even the substring function if that's what you need. Whatever function you use, whether a built-in function or one that you write, the function must be deterministic. That is to say, for a particular set of inputs, the function must always return the same output. Once again, it is the computed value from the function that is stored in the index. So if this value would change over time for any reason, then the index wouldn't work. Finally, you cannot use any aggregate functions to build a function-based index. These operate over multiple rows, not just one row, so they aren't allowed. You also want to make sure to keep performance in mind for any function that you use in a function-based index. And for this reason, you want to keep your functions short and concise. There is overhead in building and maintaining any index. But in a function-based index, this overhead is higher because you also have to account for the time it takes to execute the function and compute the value. Remember, every time a row is inserted into the table or one of the columns the function-based index is built over is updated, Oracle will have to recompute the value for that row in the function-based index. If you have a lot of complex logic that takes a lot of time in your function, you're going to see an impact on the DML performance of that table, and this is probably not what you want. Finally, know that with function-based indexes, you aren't just limited to a single column, but you can mix and match in composite indexes however you like. In this example, both the last name and first name make use of the upper function, because that makes sense for those columns so they can both be searched in a case-insensitive manner. But the state column in the index is just a normal column. So as you might expect, if you wanted to use this index in a query that did a case-insensitive search on both first and last name, the respective functions for each column need to match between the index and the WHERE clause, as shown here. Constructing indexes in this way is perfectly legal and in fact very common. There is no restriction on the number of columns that can use functions or in the order that they must appear. All of your normal index rules for index column order and the selectivity apply to computed columns, just like a regular column. So let's move into a demo so we can see function-based indexes in action.